everybody and welcome back once again. Another edition of Inside the Headset, week 13, game 13, third round of the playoffs. And I'm with the head coach of the Oakland Patriots, head coach Thomas McDaniel. Coach, last Friday night, played LeBird, got away with the win, and um, had a chance to review the video, been through several interviews, kind of been a hectic week as um, we move on into Friday night. I'll let you take it. We can talk about last Friday night. We can talk about this Friday night. We can talk about Oakland. We can talk about anything you want. But uh, you've got the floor. Um, I mean, yeah, we came away with the win. I think the uh, optimistic side says, you know, you win and you know move on. You make it ugly or whatever. You just do what you do. But uh, pessimistic side of me says it was, you know, Pretty disgusting, to be honest. Defensively, it was outstanding. I think we uh, absolutely gave up five first downs the entire game. I think it was uh, under 80 total yards of offense. Only disappointing thing about the defensive performance was the one, uh, you know, 40-something yard run they had for the touchdown. Right, right. Uh, we didn't, you know, <clears throat> that's just another example of showing you on, uh, no matter the amount of experience you have or the amount of players you have or the amount of, uh, you know, work you put in, one guy fits a play wrong. And it can be an issue, and we just had one guy out of position, didn't fit the, the play on the perimeter the way he needed to, and uh, you know, forty yard touchdown. So anyway, not 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 that it's something that we're you know accustomed to doing. It's happened once by White Station for sure, uh, but but it's happened once or twice this year, but it doesn't happen very regularly. Um, it's still disappointing, but but uh, all in all. Uh, you know, uh, Roche Gray's, I think, is, you know, come in, uh, had had like 800 yards rushing in three games or something. And I think he had uh, 17 carries for 27 yards. Uh, so, pretty stout on defense, which we should be at this point in the year. Offensively, you know, 16, I think, first downs. Uh, moved the ball very effectively and just uh, continually shot ourselves in the foot. It was just never been a part of something like that. Four turnovers inside the 10 yard line. Uh, you really don't like your kids. Looking back on it now, you know, I was uh, upset uh, a couple times when I thought we lost our composure on the sideline. But after the third or fourth time of driving down the field and, you know, fumbling the football away, everybody starts to lose their cool, and, and including me. And, um, you know, just one of those nights, I, I don't know, I don't like saying that. It makes me sick to say that oh, it's just not our night or maybe we got the turnover bug out or whatever because those are all excuses really at the end of the day. But... Um, got to do a better job of protecting the football. You know, when you got uh, drives going like that, especially in the playoffs, points are always a premium. And, um, you know, we just fumbled them away. But anyway, all that being said, defense played outstanding. When we needed to make the plays on offense, we did. You know, probably should have been a 50 something to seven ball game. Right. And, um, but it wasn't because we didn't finish drives. And, and uh, but maybe we learned from it this week. You know, maybe we. Uh, do the, the extra details or the, you know, the focus that we need to have on being ball secure. And, but, but we learned a lot, uh, and I think our kids learned from it, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll take that move forward to next week. So you say they learned a lot. So their emotions or maybe some of the things that went on uh, behind the scenes with them as a team or just uh, leadership standing up saying um, – this is this isn't acceptable as far as with their selves. Well, I I don't know that some of that you know like I said during the game or on the sideline the composure issues I don't really tolerate them uh, but but after the third or fourth time you know I'm losing my composure they see me they lose their composure I mean you get frustrated you go down the field all those times and uh, it's, it wasn't necessarily one person's fault but when you know we got to protect the football and. Uh, um, we just, I think, three or four drives in the third and fourth quarter, um, we, uh, we fumbled the ball away inside the red zone. So, um, anyway, I think we did learn some positive things. I do believe that, uh, again, not giving any secrets away, I do believe that their uh, strategy for defending us uh, is pretty unorthodox, and they gambled a lot. and um, Pretty lot of jet sweeps. You know, uh, they did? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, th they did that. But I'm talking about defensively. Yeah. They, they gambled a lot. Um, but the jet sweep stuff, they just tried to run out on the perimeter, and they hit one of them, you know. So, um, but, but they got, they got like I said, I told you, you know, a month ago, they got athletes to match with anybody in our district. Um, and I think they've got better uh, interior defensive line play the last couple of weeks, which helped them. And they gambled a lot defensively. Now, Blackman's not going to gamble as much, but um, – 
Anyway, all that being said, I think one of the encouraging things was they jumped in every front imaginable through every kind of blitz and put everybody up there. Uh, we were able to block them. Good. You know, so our offensive line did a great job adjusting. Uh, Ja'Cory did make a nice uh, read on one of the, the inside zones and pulled it and uh, ran about 40 or 50 for a touchdown, which is a component that we've missed that he's brought to the table for us. And the cold weather, did that play a factor? I really don't think so. Looking ahead to Blackman, did that play a factor? I really don't, I really don't believe that was the issue. I just think we had an off night for whatever reason. We didn't, you know, uh, focus on the, the details of protecting the football, and I think it's something that can be easily corrected throughout this week and just having the right uh, frame of mind. So, um, you know, came in Sunday, uh, watched the film, obviously started, uh, you know, preparing for Blackman, and uh, the, the offensive guys had a meeting uh, without the coaches, and I'm sure it was a positive meeting. And uh, just, you know, be accountable, man. Everybody's got to be accountable. At this point, you know, it's like I told him the other night. I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's on offense or defense. Nobody cares at this point who's getting the credit, you know. Really, at the end of the day, the only one that's going to get the credit for us when you get break it down, the only people going to get any credit for us are Jack Jones and probably uh, Josh Cunningham on offense. Nobody else is going to get any credit. And then on defense, it's going to be Kevin Prather and Josh Smith. I mean, maybe Ty Nix. Nobody else is going to get the credit. Who cares? Uh, and I don't think our kids care, to be honest. But I think they, they met to just kind of solidify the, the fact that, you know, we're in it to – you know, we're in it for one reason. That's to beat Blackman and ultimately win a state championship. And now those goals are very attainable. You know, you go 20 weeks and you finally, like you said, week 13. It's a long grind of the season. Finally here. and um, You're you know, back where you started. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning of the Ironically season, enough, you're, you're back where you started, and, and uh, both of you got lots of video. Both of you have a lot of information. You know each other's kids. Um, we're in the same community. This is this is for the ruler of Rutherford County. I mean, throw out the red. I mean, all the cliches you can say. It's well, all cards are on the tape. Yeah, they are. But I mean, look at it both ways. I mean, the competitive side says. Uh, you know, yeah, ironically enough, we've come full circle, which everybody wanted to see that. Uh, I think within that, though. You can go ahead and call all those people up that kept saying that. Yeah, <laughs> two, two, two totally different teams. I mean, yeah, we're back to where we started, but I don't think either team's the same. Nope. Um, you know, uh, finally, for the first time, honestly, for the, for the first time since uh, the game, I was able to watch the ESPN. I made myself watch the first half of the ESPN game last night. And, uh, you know, defensively, we're just – not the same football team. So, um, you know, we'll see what that means. But we, we um, you know, we got uh, supposedly slapped in the face. And, um, you know, I think from a competitive standpoint, defensively, uh, you have to take those words and take, uh, you know, take notice about what happened in that first game. We watched film on Sunday with the defense. They didn't have to say anything. You ain't got to say anything. Look at it. It's disgusting. I mean, it, you know, they're running over us, and uh, if uh, and I really believe it's a it's a will, it's a want to, it's a you know, how bad do you want to win the game? Because if we want to win the game, uh, I don't want to make it about our offense versus their defense or their defense against our offense. But the bottom line is, they are dynamic on offense. They're juggernaut, juggernaut or whatever. Score a lot of points, have a lot of weapons. I mean, and again, you know, Davidson and and uh, and Jennings gonna get all the credit, but their offensive line is huge. Uh, the receivers are long and athletic. Killings and Hardy and, and uh, uh, Morton, all of them are good players. And I thought they played good defense Friday night. I looked at their video. I thought they played good against Riverdale. Yeah, they played good against Riverdale. Uh, but but uh, offensively, they're, they're, they're super powerful. So, um, you know, it'll be an interesting matchup there because uh, we just gave up a couple plays that we're not, you know, the uh, one-two plays is the bottom line. I mean, they, 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 they willed themselves into a couple plays that we didn't make. And, uh, you know, it was an ugly football game on both sides. Really, when you go back and look at it now, I thought it was a great representation of our district at the time. And I was looking at it last night, and I was like, it's pretty sloppy. So, uh, hopefully, we'll both play better. I think, obviously, the elements won't factor in as much. I mean, I know there's a chance of rain, but 30%, it's yeah, high, four, high 48. Yeah. It's going to be in the 30s. It's going to be nice. Off. So, it's not going to be freezing cold. And, um, you know, just two totally different teams, really. So, uh, and then offensively for us, you know, uh, it's about keeping them honest. We didn't do that the first time. We did a very poor job of calling the game, and that's my fault. But we just uh, we did not make them defend the entire field. When we did that, uh, we had some success, and we didn't do that enough. So we got to do that. And 
you know, go go down with what got you. I think the beauty of the the game, and it happens to be the same way every year, is that uh, uh, they're not going to try to trick us very much, and we're not going to try to trick them. It's going to be pretty simplistic on both sides. They're very simple. they got about four or five formations and four or five plays, and we have maybe fewer formations and fewer plays. I don't know, but they're, we're very simple, too. From their perspective, I'm sure they're saying, man, they're super simple. We're saying the same thing. It's about, again, it's about the want, about the competitive nature, how much spirit you have and will to fight and want to win individual battles throughout the course of the game and make those plays that matter. And, um, you know, so that's that's one side of it, you know. Okay. And, and, and I, uh, I think really when you look at uh, the two, you know, the, the tweet got posted uh, maybe Sunday, uh, you know, that Crager said that, you know, we're 22-2 and two, our only two losses came to Black. And, yeah, well, they're – it's a good football team. I mean, we're losing to a good – it's not like we're just, you know, throwing wins away. I mean, we've lost – yeah, we've lost them twice. So what? I mean, uh, you know, if you look at the the last three or, you know, three or four games, I mean, they've all been tight games. And um, so the discouraging thing is you don't like to say it, but, you know, your season's going to be defined by whether or not you beat Blackman. And, you know, we won 11 ball games. We're either going to be Friday night at 10 o'clock we're going to be – 12-1 are going to be 11-2, and two, and it really shouldn't define the overall success of this senior class and the overall success of this season, and yet that's what we're facing. That's unfortunately. And that's for both That's for both that's teams. For both teams. You know, so, uh, you know, you got to look, again, you got to keep it in perspective, but at the same time be realistic with the players and understand, hey, we love you. You've done an unbelievable job representing this school. You've done a great job of building this program. Uh, we don't win Friday and it's off or not. You know, and I, I mean, I hate it this that way. Now, it's not going to be like that to me. Uh, we've had a great year. I'm very pleased with our uh, I mean, you're not too late. I mean, no, I'm very pleased easy. with our progression. But, but uh, you know, there's a lot at stake as far as bragging rights and all that. And it's just, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the, the ugly side of being in this deal that um, it only ends really well for one. You know, only one of you going to practice on Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, uh, and there's a lot of things, and only one of you will stay in tall as you know the Rutherford County ruler. But then that doesn't end right there. I mean, no, that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, at the October or no, uh, December the eighth or whatever, there's only going to be one team happy in six. That's right. You know, um, one hold the gold ball. That's right. So um, you know, we're just trying to. All, all we can do is worry about us and um, you know get our kids. I think the biggest thing is. Um, not make it bigger than what it is. Don't 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 overhype the game within the program. Don't don't psych our kids out. Don't put. I mean, you know, uh, I think it's. I, I hope our kids understand this, but I think they do. I think since we kicked the first kickoff off in 2013 against Riverdale, this will be the first game that we've ever been the underdog. I mean, we've played in okay 20 yeah 24 games since that kickoff in 2013. We've never been the underdog in one game. You're the underdog. And we're the underdog. And and I would venture to say, I believe pretty hard wholeheartedly that most people think it's gonna be a you know, a forty one to fourteen, thirty five to twenty type of game. So I think that the, most people believe that, you know, um, that they're gonna whip us. So our kids don't need to believe that obviously, but I believe that most people in town think that. Uh, and that's not a that's not a Reverse psychology. Or no, 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 that's no. Just, that just is what it is. And um, and they should think that. I mean, they, they put up a lot of points. They don't give up many points. And they've beaten us the last two times we've played. So um, we can't deal with all that. we got to deal with the 48 minutes that we're given an opportunity to play them and, uh, you know, make the most of those opportunities. And like I said, six or seven plays to find the game. Yep. I mean, you know, um, the first game I could I could point to just in the first half, but you know, the kickoff right before halftime, they run it back all the way to the thirty-five, and they score two plays later. It's twenty-one fourteen. That play doesn't happen. Maybe a different ball game because they got to drive the length of the field in less than a minute and a half to go on the half. You know, in the half, but because that kickoff return gets them across the fifty and get some good field position, they did execute. And they had life, and they had and they scored quickly and made it twenty-one twenty-one and a half. You know, we threw an interception right after they turned the ball over. Uh, I mean, just, you know, and last year, uh, you know, we got one guy fall down, one guy fall down, and another one miss, not grass, and he goes 65 yards for a touchdown. Uh, that's how simplistic yet complicated the game is. 
So, you know, you can't be falling down, you can't back door, and you can't miss tackles in the quarterfinal. You have to be where you're supposed to be on every snap. And uh, if we do that, I think I, I like our chances. So don't have a whole lot of pressure on us. Don't really feel that stressed out about no, it at all. I don't think so. Uh, you know, better team will win. And I think they're pretty even teams. I think it comes down to the want to, who wants to win, who wants to practice on Thanksgiving. And if our kids really want that, then we'll be playing. If we don't, then we'll, we'll uh, play. But you know that. Yep, playing the locker room up. So uh, it, it'll be exciting. It'll be a good game. Well, all right. So um, got a couple of days here before we get into the game. So what will you do? Talk to the fans about uh, just the rest of the week leading up to Friday and kind of what, what's going to happen here at Oakland High School and the Patriot football team. Well, unfortunately, part of our day has been trying to figure out who we're going to play for next year, scheduling games. I've heard that that's not, a, that's not been a good mission. No, it's not. So we've been able to find, uh, obviously, the Hoover game, and then uh, Hillsboro uh, has worked something out with us week two. So that'll be a good matchup. That'll be a nice matchup. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, the, as far as what we do the rest of the week, it's uh, – you know, trying to find that balance of being physical enough to keep us sharp and yet, uh, you know, rest enough to where they're not beat up and have our legs under us when we get there. And, um, you know, mentally, you, you don't want the whole, you know, uh, paralysis by analysis type of thing. You know, you know, we've got, yeah, we've got basically every film they have and they've got all of ours, I'm sure, but we're not going to focus on, you know, it's like, so I thought, oh man, you watch an Independence game. Well, that was that was week five. Who cares? <laughs> we're week thirteen. I mean, the two teams are totally different, you know. And uh, we're gonna focus on the last couple games that they've played. Um, you know, um, the, I'm sure they're gonna do the same. But but again, really, at the end of the day, we know what they do. They know what we do. It's not that complicated. And and uh, uh, right, Friday, come. Yeah, let's play. I mean, let's. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna mentally keep, you know, try to stay uh, focused in, or uh, net, you know, nail down the detail things, and uh, hopefully just have our kids excited. Me, but you know, say have them excited. I, I just I don't want them to make it bigger than what it is. I think we could feel like the weight of the world's on our shoulders because you know, um, I mean, it was Monday at eleven thirty. I just walked into the cafeteria, and a student immediately looked at me and said, "How bad is Blackman gonna beat us?" You know, so. You know, if you don't think it's out there, it's out there. Everybody thinks we're going to get beat by them. And so I kind of like it that way. Uh, you know, I guarantee you they think they're going to beat us, and they should. They've beaten us the last two times. But um, we we got a, you know, we got a lot at stake. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's a 48-minute game, and, and uh, we need to go have fun. That's when we play our best is when we're relaxed and we're just enjoying it. So we've tended to do that. Even, you know, Friday we were enjoying it. We just had, you know, some situations that made us stress out. But... Um, I just I want them to go over there, play loose, uh, enjoy the the atmosphere. It's going to be a great crowd, obviously. And there's been a lot of anticipation for this game, and uh, just be thankful that we're in this situation because most kids never get to play a game like this. And within that, the thing that I talked about as soon as the game was over with Friday is, you know, be careful what you wish for. I mean, uh, they've wanted this all year, and people, coaches, everybody's talked about the rematch, and everybody's wanted it at our you know, uh, football family wanted to see this rematch and be careful what you wish for because sometimes it comes true. So, you know, we're getting a second lease on life. And, and uh, you know, I think it's a great opportunity for us and we better take advantage of it, better seize that opportunity. And, uh, and and I think we will. All right. Friday night at 7 o'clock over at the Inferno. Oakland Patriots, Blackman Blaze, you all be there. It will be a televised game, but I wouldn't be watching it on TV, record it, and come to the game and enjoy it. So anyway, we'll see you out there.